wouldn't hurt to start preparing now for that big drop in temperatures. Things like protecting your pipes and also your plants outside. ABC 15's Mike Pelton speaking with the experts tonight. And Mike, get us up to speed. What do we need to know? Well, it's not here yet, but the cold is coming. And you know some people are watching this with family who are visiting from the Midwest who are going, what do you mean 30 degrees is cold? We get it. It's all relative, but experts say it can cause some problems. The most common ones I can think of that most people have in their yard, this is one of them, Bougainvillea. Matthew Whitfield and Whitfield Nursery covering their plants on Wednesday for the first time this year. Stuff doesn't necessarily die or, or freeze to death when it gets, you know, mid 30s, low 40s kind of thing, but stuff can start to look kind of ugly and sad if it does get that cold. Matthew says use a breathable sheet or blanket. You're not trying to wrap them up, like bundle them up. You're just trying to drape it over them, almost like you're dressing like a third grader up as a ghost for Halloween kind of thing. You want it to set over the top and, and breathe, let the air in underneath. All you want to do is wrap it around the pipe and as well as these other pipes, and that creates it so that um, it's enough insulation so the lines won't freeze. Eric Hansen owns Hansen Family Plumbing. He says cold weather and exposed pipes don't mix well. It is a cause for concern, and in being in Arizona, it's, it's harder because it doesn't happen very often, so we're not really prepared for it. Eric says as temperatures near freezing, cover pipe with insulation or a heavy blanket, or even leave a little water running. Easy steps that could prevent a costly repair. I think it's definitely possible that a couple of people's lines that are exposed in cooler areas could end up popping. And maybe that's the one downside to living in Arizona. We don't know what to do when temperatures drop down into the 30s. Imagine if we had to shovel snow or drive on icy roads, but hopefully we can all figure it out and can protect our plants and pipes for a few days. Back to you, Katie. Yeah, and sometimes we're picking the sheets up from the neighbor's house after the wind comes through and lifts that third grader dressed as a ghost across the neighborhood. Thank you, Mike.